Hey guys, MechanicCG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 12. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the MechanicCG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be doing the four-wheel drive challenge. We are going on Brands Hatch, Willow Springs, and then the Grand Valley Speedway. And what we're going to be doing is we are actually, uh, for this one, taking the Lancer Evolution. Um, but what I am going to do uh, for this one is I am going to... Uh, we're going to have to customize it. So, car settings. And we're going to have to put a performance limiter. And I feel like performance limiter rather than taking off parts. So, we're going to try 90% power. See how much performance points that is. 529. Right, let's try 80%. 514. Let's try 73. Okay. 72.5. 72, 71.5, 1.6, 1.7, 1.8. I feel like if we leave it at 71, we're at 499. We're right on the limit. Um, and because occasionally it can change the performance point rating. Um, oh, did that save? Yes, it did. Right, the car is now legal. Let's enter. Starting off at the Brands Hatch Indie Circuit for this one, for the four-wheel drive challenge. I'm looking forward to see what other four-wheel drive cars are going to be in this. Uh, let's take a look. Right, so we have an Impreza sedan. Nice. we got a Skyline GTR R33, a Skyline R32. Two of those, actually. Um, and a Clicks. What's a Clicks? We'll find out in a minute. Right, we are now here at the iconic Brands Hatch circuit. The, uh, suit, uh, the Mitsubishi isn't as powerful as before. We've put a performance limiter. 71% max power now. I can definitely feel it from earlier. There is definitely a performance decrease. I like how there are performance limiters in this. So if you are wanting to drive your favorite car, but it's like too powerful, you can put that. And you can then drive any car in the Clubman Cup if you want to. I mean, I don't see why you'd want to drive a Bugatti Veyron against a couple of hatchbacks. I mean, it would be cool to see how um, powerful a Bugatti Veyron is with a 10% performance limiter. That would be really interesting to see. Um, I'm pretty sure there's YouTube videos out there on it. I can guarantee you. Here we go. Let's do this. Oh, is that the, um, clicks? That car's the clicks up ahead. It looks disgusting. I would never want to be seen driving that. And if I did get seen driving that, I would want to be killed. Oh no, I crashed into a Skyline R32. Or well, maybe that's an R33. That looks a bit big for an R32. R32s are a little bit squashed out. Past the Impreza. Very nice. I'm looking forward to the International Cups where we get like super powerful vehicles. This is like my sixth day recording, maybe seventh. Um, and we're knowing, I mean, getting near halfway. Um, on the seventh day, I think it will be um, halfway through the game. Which is interesting because the game only gets longer from here on out. Apparently. And apparently the endurance series is really crap in this game. Um, but it's actually playable in a video. So I'd be able to do. Because it's like 24 hour of Le Mans. But it's 24 minutes. 
Um, so that would give me a chance to play the races in one video, if that makes sense. Finish line though, very good time there. Two minutes, 46.679. We did very well at Brands Hatch. The little Mitsubishi has done us proud. And it's going to do us even more proud at the next track, which I do not have a clue what it is. At all. Let's go and find out. I did say, ah, it might be a Trial Mountain. I think it's Trial Mountain. Is it? No, it's not, neither. It's Grand Valley Speedway that's the original track. But we're now going on to Willow Springs. Let's do this. I can't remember. I remember watching a film um, that was around Willow Springs. Um, and it was based around this track. But I can't remember what the film was called. If anyone knows what it is, let me know. Um, but we are going against a R33 and R32. Impreza, Impreza. Uh, like four different Lancers. Uh, and a GTO Twin Turbo. Right, here we go. Mitsubishi round Willow Springs. Right, come on, let's do this. That's the GTO there, that's the twin turbo one. Coming up on a hatchback Impreza. These cars are disgusting. And if you own one, you should be burned. That is a joke. We got an R32 over here. Nice. Right, we got a Impreza up ahead. Two of them, I think. Pretty sure. Oh, we've gone off road. But this is the natural home ground for this car, so going off road isn't a problem, especially here where it's. Uh, very flat off the track. It's a very flat off-road section towards the outside of the track. Come on, come on, come on, come on. And bye-bye. Whoa. I swear he tried to crash into my car. Oh, that's not an Impreza. That's another R32. I think the other one before might have been the R33 then. Or maybe this is the R33. No, I think this is the R33. The one before was an R32. That one was an R32. This one's an R33. I will learn the rear end of each car. All I know is it's an R30 something. If it's got the lights like that, it's an R30 something. Guaranteed. There we go. Acceleration. Perfect. Let's keep it going. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Right, onto the main straight for lap numero trois. Stick it, stick it, stick it, stick it. Jesus. Awesome. Uh, 
perfect. Come on. Very final corner here. It is raining outside my window right now. And I have a feeling it's going to thunder again today. It's thundered three days in a row. There we go. Across the line. Let's have a look. Oh, all the Lance has managed to squeeze their way up into first. That's how overpowered. Except the one in last. <laughs> the Evo 9. Just terrible. Evo 9s are apparently terrible in this game. Apparently. Right, let's move on to the next one. Okay, completed. Exit. Let's go to race number three, and that is going to be the Grand Valley Speedway. Yes. We've got two laps of this track for 13,000 credits. Just drop my controller again. Look at that. The Grand Valley Speedway. I do like this track. This track is one of my favorites. And we're against two GTO Twin Turbos, two Skyline we got an R32 and an R34. R34 is my favorite. And we've got three lanterns. Right, here we go. Grand Valley Speedway. Let's go. We've got the GTOs up in front. We've got a Skyline R32 in front as well. Nice. Car is sticking very well through these corners. Oh, we've tapped the R32 in the ass. Here we go. Slow down, slow down for this corner. This car can pull very powerful. Let's swap the view for a little bit. Let's enjoy the car. What on earth is that car? I'm sorry, that is a crime against humanity. Nice. I do prefer sitting on this camera angle though. And those little hood scoops at the front, the little uh, hood vents, just make this car look so aggressive at this angle. And there's, there's my sweet R34. Up in first. Do I dare to overtake it? I mean, I mean, it's a beautiful car. I think it deserves to beat me. But then I don't get the star. Oh, it's a tough choice. It's a tough choice. Uh, but we have to go for it. We have to get the star. We have to power through the pain of overtaking that Nissan. If anyone is willing to buy me an R34 for Christmas, you're more than welcome to. Here we go, nice. Perfect. Come 
one. Nice. I took that corner horribly. That was the worst I've ever taken that corner. I'm ashamed of that. Come on, come on, come on. Go around the inside. Come on, speed is key. Nice. And across the line with the fastest lap on the final lap. Four minutes, 28.795 at total time. And the R34 came second. I'm proud of it. I'm proud of the R34 for coming second. I'm proud of it for letting me have that star. But also for not letting me down. It is still my dream car. Right, let's go and see what the next championship is. I can't actually remember now. There is another one. We'll find out now. Oh! Oh! Hey, half the stars, Dodge Challenger RT70. That's actually very good because that means I don't actually have to buy that car now for the final championship. Um, I want to take it in Sublime. That looks really nice in a lime green color. You're quite... I, I love that as well. Sublime. No, I do not want to use the car yet. Right, next... Oh, electric circuits. Ugh. Uh. Uh. Right, so we are changing into... Oh, what's wrong with the Prius? 356. Oh, it, this Prius G is too powerful. Okay, interesting. Uh, let's go to car settings then. What is wrong with it? What have we put in? Everything is standard. I really don't want to reduce the power, though. Though, to be fair, reducing the power won't do... Yeah, look. I'm still at 95 horsepower. 94... We'll go 93.5 just to be... Just within boundaries. But let's enter for the high-speed ring. Oh, I'm not going to look forward to this. I'm in a Prius. I am driving a Prius. It's the world's worst car. Like, I'm tempted to go out and buy a Leaf just so I don't have to drive the Prius. Uh, one thing I will make sure is traction control is completely off. Because we don't need that. Right, let's do this. Oh my god, what the fuck is that car? Ugh. Everything is just electric. This is disgusting. Disgusting. We literally had to limit the power to 93% of like 96. To make sure that this car was compatible for this event. Had to be very economical, drive a Prius. I don't even think... I would rather not drive a Prius. Like, 
It has an engine in it. I'd rather be driving a Nissan Leaf. I had to take that corner one-handed whilst I was sneezing. And, yeah, that w that's a challenge. If you can do that, then magic. The other two cars are very far ahead. I don't see how my little Prius, to be fair, is doing 120 miles an hour. So, got to give it props there. But that's the only props I'm giving it. The fact that it can go faster than I thought it could. Which, to be fair, if a Prius, the car that looks like a dog's ass, only looks like it goes 90 miles an hour, that's not an achievement if it can go faster than that. Not gonna lie. Why is this above the performance rating though? Like the other cars seem to be perfectly fine being in here. Here we go, nice. Hopefully in the next series we'll get even more drivers, so we'll get like to the maximum 16. No Prius, stay back. Let's go, let's go, let's go, go, go. Come on, stay back. Stay behind me. Stay behind me. Woo! First place. Trying to sneak up on the inside there. Sneaky buggers. All right, look at that. 98,003 stars. I'll take the money in the stars, but I don't want to take anything else from this. Because it is Priuses. There was six Priuses in that race. We're moving on to Matterhorn. Matterhorn is an amazing track. And it's about to be ruined by the presence of electric cars. To be fair, it is a beautiful place. So electric cars make sense. Because, like, economy and shit like that. Shush. Shush. No. We want to be driving a good car here. Not one, two, three, four Priuses. No. Just no. Right, Prius. You disgusting looking thing. <coughs> and then you see the little like bubble car towards the side. I've not shifted a single gear since like. I currently have the worst grip ever on this controller just because I don't have them on the shifting things. It's actually quite comfortable holding it like this. I'm holding it like you would expect your grandma to hold a controller. Look at this beautiful place. Being ruined by the presence of Priyas and insignias. Whoa! Get out of the way, Jesus. Look. Covered wheel arches. No. Crimes. Ugh. Like, I know Porsche grew, grew on me. Porsche grew on me. Nissan grew on me a little bit. But Priuses and Insignias are never going to grow on me. Especially closed wheel arches. Just no. Oh my gosh. We've got one more car to somehow catch up to. How I do not know, but we have to. Come on, get round this corner. 
I like how it goes slower up the hill. Like, it can't even maintain its speed up the hill. It loses speed going uphill. That's how you can tell a car's bad. Is when it cannot even maintain its speed going uphill. A Ford Focus can do that. This is just ridiculous. Oh, but we are coming to the downhill section. So this is going to be like playing bumper cars. Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. Crap, that was close. That was very close, that section there. I was not proud of that. Right, here we go. Across the line at Matterhorn. With a very terrible time that I'm ashamed of because I'm still driving a Prius. This is going to be a meme for this episode. It's just Priuses are bad cars. I don't like the Prius. But I'm being forced to drive it in this championship. I could drive a Leaf, but I'm not wasting my money either. I think I will go through the pain of driving a Prius if it saves me 50000 for the Leaf. If it didn't save me 50,000 and it only saved me 20,000, I would go through the pain of buying a leaf. Like, I would buy a leaf. It probably is better, anyways. Indianapolis, though. This is a long circuit. They're going to be putting me through five more minutes of pain. Of a Prius. A Prius. One, two, four Priuses. Two Leafs. What is an Aqua S? We haven't seen that yet. And three Insights, not Insignias. I got that wrong. I'm sorry. Right. Here we go. This is going to be the final race with a Prius. And then I'll never have to see this car again. Why did they add an electric car event? Like, they didn't have it in GT4, in GT5. But in GT6, they were like, yeah, we need electric cars. We need to put them through the pain of our creation of the Toyota Prius. Ugh. Just ugh. It's a smart car, don't get me wrong, but like, they could have at least made it look better. Like, if a Prius actually looked good, I wouldn't hate on it. But like, ugh, and closed, closed wheel arches just don't sit right with me. I don't like them that much. Especially when they look like that. Like, that's just not a very nice closed wheel arch. I mean, the Red Bull X2010. The closed wheel arches on that actually look like wheels still. So they sort of don't look as bad. Oh my god, we couldn't go slower if we tried. Literally could not go slower. We would have finished the other races by now. Right, let's go. Now, past the Nissan Leaf. Got another Nissan Leaf coming up here. To be fair, the Prius is quicker than the Nissan Leaf. But like, it's still a Prius. We 
hit 125 just. Oh, and the Aqua is another Toyota. See, I'm alright with the Aqua. Because it doesn't look like shite. Come on. Let's just get around this track and get this over and done with. I really want to go to a track day one day though. Like even if I turned up in a crappy Vauxhall Corsa. It's not a crappy car. It's actually a very good car, the Vauxhall Corsa. But like if I turned up in something slow, I would still love to just drive around the track. Shred a pair of tyres, why not? I would just love to go around the track. Awesome. Come on. Stay ahead. Who's catching up? Prius catching up with me. How are you catching up? Hey, that Prius is going like 120 miles an hour. It's not quick enough, though. Look at that. Four minutes and 25. That was... 4 minutes to 25 longer than I ever wanted to drive in this car. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.